Some serious interior electronic upgrades for the E36 are happening today. Finally, after years and years, I've been in this car close to 15 years, never touched the audio system other than a different Alpine head unit that I installed, you know, like 15 years ago. I haven't touched the speakers, the speakers are the stock ones. Time to upgrade all of it. So as you can see here, I went with Bavarian Soundworks, got them used from a guy, they appear like new condition. And then I went with the Alpine ILX407 head unit. It's a double din, but what I really like is it's super thin. So if you know an E36, it's not easy to put a double din in there because it was never designed for it. There's not a good spot for it. So this is going to be a custom install, but I wanted this because there's a lot of not a lot of not a, there's not a lot of depth. So to have a double din unit that's only this wide, it's exactly what I was looking for. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Big upgrade for the E36 today. So let's start tearing it apart. There we go. Woo! Well, this is a thing, isn't it? All right, gotta wire that up to the new one. Well, I actually have excellent news. The power plug for the new radio is exactly the same as the old radio, so I'm just gonna plug it in and hope that it works. I'm trying to figure out where this is gonna go. More than likely down here, though it would technically fit up here. Oh, well, let's see what happens. Oh, look at that. We've got power and we've got noise. I had to figure out where everything is gonna be mounted, which of course is the hardest part of this whole install because E36s were not designed for any of this nonsense. So the debate is, do I put it in the top cubby or the bottom cubby? There's pros and cons to each. Probably gonna end up going the bottom cubby just so the digital climate control still looks more like factory up top. One of the problems trying to mount this down here is there's not enough depth. I don't have any obstructions back there. I could push this back. And that's all the farther back it'll go. It's not gonna go further, which is why I think I'm gonna put it down here. Which means I've gotta figure out a way that I'm gonna mount it down here. First thing I'm gonna do is zip that off. Be a nice flat surface to work with. And there is enough space and depth for it to sit, but just barely enough depth. But honestly, that's gonna look not too shabby down there. Something like that. My plan is now to use some ABS plastic, bond it to that, and then the double din will sit in there. So I gotta cut this and shape it and get all that ready. And that's a pretty darn nice edge. Came out clean, I'm happy with that. Do another test fit. All right, I think it's just a hair proud. That's not bad at all, I can bring that out. But man, that is a that is a good fit, boys. Looks like a delete panel, I guess. Somebody probably actually offers this, I could have bought, but oh well. Now I need to figure out a way to bond it to this. Make it all slide in as one piece, then we'll worry about cutting it out to fit the radio itself. Perhaps just drawing it would work better. Now we just transfer this to that, which is uh, a lot easier said than done. Now what I think I'm gonna do is now drill a hole in each corner. Should have done that first, but I didn't think about it until well, right this very second, actually. That kind of looks like <laughs> Does it fit? Ooh, it does. I'm pretty happy with that. Not perfect, but it's pretty good. Now I just need to make these two into one. I don't want any of this glue to leak through.
there's that. I'm hoping and thinking that's gonna be strong enough. We'll see in about uh, 24 hours. Okay, so I'm waiting for my custom bezel and all that to dry and fully cure. So for now, time to swap in all eight of these speakers, which I, I don't know that it's gonna be an easy task. Gotta take the door panels off, kick panels off, and I gotta somehow get to the rear speakers with the cage. But before that, I just wanna test real quick how everything sounds with the new head unit and the old speakers. So I at least have a before and after. I know you guys won't really be able to hear the difference, but I'd like to. Absolutely no bass whatsoever. Now that's odd, I can't go into settings. I'm guessing I have to wire up some kind of sensor so it thinks it's in park or something like that, which is annoying. Every day, every hour. I like it, I like it a lot. Other than the speaker sounding absolutely terrible. They sound like garbage. There's no bass at all, I forgot how bad it was. I'm gonna start with the door panels, kick panels, do all the front, and then we'll work to the rear. I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna get back there. Uh, of course, the whole door panel falls apart. Shocking, I know. You gotta love E36 door panels, am I right? These could definitely use some work. <laughs> Might as well fix this while I'm at it, right? So Gorilla Glue apparently didn't do the trick last time. We'll see if the construction adhesive holds it. I gotta pop this old speaker out of this cover. And this is the new speaker that shall go in there. So that just snaps in. There we go, that one's installed. Uh, I think you're supposed to add some glue because there is some rattle in there. So that's, that's not gonna work. Those two are done. That's all junk. All right, on to the kick panel. There's the old one. At least from a size perspective, it looks a lot nicer. Pretty big difference there, at least in how they look. All right, both kick panels are done. Technically the door speakers are done, but I'm waiting for glue to dry and all that. So now to move on to probably the worst part, which is gonna be the rear. I've never messed with these, so I'm just gonna wing it. This thing came out as a unit. Well, the 6x9 speakers are supposed to come with adapters, but they don't because obviously this is not made for 6x9. So I gotta order adapters, wait for that to come in. I still gotta hot glue all that stuff. I gotta wait for that to dry. I gotta wait for my custom bezel to dry. I got So now we just gotta sit around and wait. So I'll pick back up in a couple days and get this all wrapped up. The only things I actually got installed were the speakers in the foot wells, so pretty much a fail, but we're making progress. Back on day two, got some more parts in. I got the actual mounting outer box and clips with the little release keys for the double dents that I gotta figure out how I'm gonna mount this in the car. This glue should be dry. Take this apart, see if everything held together, see how it turned out. All right, there it is. I got it pretty cleaned up. Pretty happy with that. Really can't see any glue at all. Insides cleaned up where I mounted these tabs. Fitment is pretty darn good. Got to put this in the car to see where this is going to land exactly, then figure out how I'm going to mount this box, because I have no idea at this point. Test fit. These tabs might not work out after all. Yeah, those tabs aren't going to work. All right, no tabs. Let's try it. I think we got it. Looks pretty OEM. This is way deeper. I got to trim these edges.
they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Well, that's not good. Oh boy, that's gonna need some fixing. Crap, that, that was terrible. Uh, now I gotta somehow get this back into shape and still cut it. Alright, good news boys, it, it, I still got it to work. I got it bent back good enough. So I think we're good to proceed now. That was, that was a nightmare. So I am gonna end up using this harness after all. This one kind of just looks like crap. And this one also doesn't have uh, a parking brake wire lead. So I can't even access a lot of the settings without having that hooked up, which is a freaking pain. Bye bye. Guess I can just do it one at a time. Making good progress with the harness. It's much cleaner than the old one, that jumbled mess I put together when I was probably 17. I'm not gonna finish it out because I've got one of those uh, parking brake relay delete things. So basically it'll think the parking brake's on all the time so I can actually access the settings. I don't need to like watch video while I'm driving. I'm not gonna do that. But the fact that this radio, you can't even access the settings unless the parking brake is on is ridiculous. I also got new clips for my door panels and a whole bunch of other stuff. It's a, uh, a new day, another new day, and a new haircut. So many parts came in. I got a hot glue gun. I got new door panel clips. I got the re parking brake relay delete thingamabobber, lots of stuff. So I've been doing some door panel repair because E36 door panels. Gotta get the speakers glued in like they were from the factory. You saw before they had like a little bit of play when clipped in. So the factory had a dab of glue in there. So I'm gonna put a dab of hot glue in there, get the door panels all put back together with some new and missing door panel clips and some parts re-glued and this and that. Get the speakers back in, get the door panels back in, and then we'll move on to the next part. So then I'll start wiring up that little relay thing, finish this wire harness here, and then we can start doing some final install and testing. But next up, let's get these door panels ready to reinstall in the car. Door panels are back on and are the most solid they've ever been since I've owned this car. I've had them off countless times, repaired them countless times, but now they're about as solid as you can get, so I'm pretty happy with the outcome of those. Now, on to this little relay thing. So I got some more wiring to knock out here. We'll do some testing. Wiring should be done. This is the before, this is the after. I'm glad I took the time to do that because this is so much nicer and cleaner. You see I have one extra wire there. It's a long one, it's because that is gonna be for the reverse switch, which I haven't run any of that wiring yet, so I just kind of left it long so I can reach it at a later date. Let's throw this in the car, see if it works and see what speakers work. See if that relay thing works. I, we're just gonna see what works and what doesn't. All right, let's see if all that hard work was worth the effort to clean up the wiring and make sure it works. Oh yes, she's on. Got the CarPlay plugged in. There it is. Of course, I can't play a song because it'll get copyrighted. And but the speakers do work. I only have all the six fronts hooked up for now because I'm waiting for the adapters for the rear. Once those come in, we'll be all finished. But I'm happy with the center console so far. Pretty pretty good this fit and finish up here is decent and it sounds good uh, I, I can't really say it sounds great because there are no rear speakers and that's where all the bass comes from but all the tweeters and everything up here 
do sound good. They do sound really, really clear, so I'm happy with that. I just gotta wait for those adapters to come in, and then we'll wrap up the whole install. The last pieces are finally here. Got the adapters for the 6x9s. That way they can go in the parcel shelf without me having to cut anything up. So, let me stick them in, and then we'll do a final test. In the meantime, guys, I did do more work off camera. If you notice here, this is now USB. So I took out the cigarette lighter. I bought this off Amazon, I'll link it. It just plugs into the back of the head unit, but it fits in there with a screw on the bottom perfectly. Looks super nice and OEM. And then I also ran the microphone here. I have it screwed on to the back of the digital dash. Okay, yeah, that was great, that was fun. It's not easy getting back there with a roll bar. Didn't come with any screws, couldn't reuse the factory screws. Actually, I had to use like a bolt and nut. I used M5, weird, so that was a whole ordeal, but they're in, time for the final test. Finally have base. I'm happy with that. I do have one more piece to finish this whole install out, and that's right here. This is the radio delete panel, so this should just pop right into that top spot. This is gonna complete the whole installation. That finishes up this video, boys. It was a long one, lots done, all new speakers, custom doubled in install, all that good stuff in this video. Hope you guys liked it. If you'd like to support the channel, new merch. This is a brand new sweatshirt, actually. Just a simple camo guy, the BA logo there. You can find it on the website, boostedapexdesigns.com. Thank you. We'll see you in the next video.